Hey yo everybody, it's Johnny5 Alive here and welcome to my Starfield Medivac speed build video. As you can see from the B-roll in the background, I have done my very best to recreate the StarCraft 2 Medivac using the available tools in Starfield. I believe that I have achieved a solid 80% plus likeliness with what's available in the game currently. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how exactly I did it in case you want to build one for yourself. So, small disclaimer, in order to build this ship as accurately as possible, it does require two Starship mods. Both of them I highly recommend, as it will expand your ship building possibilities and enable you to make or recreate ships just the way you want them. The first mod required is the Ship Builder Unrestricted. This disables a lot of the ship check passes, such as having floating pieces, not having enough dockers, etc, etc, and it even allows you to have even more engine thrusters reactors cockpits and more the second mod required is the ship builder tolerance tweaks this just allows you to clump parts together without getting the red interface preventing you from placing things where you desire them two additional mods that aren't required but i highly recommend are ship yards unlocked this will effectively dump every single ship park from all manufacturers across the galaxy onto one npc of your choice enabling that mechanic to have the entire list of ship parts available in the game preventing you from having to travel around from place to place to find the parts that you want to experiment with it makes the build process so much more fluid having everything at your disposal to experiment with and lastly ship builder tweaks this makes a bunch of small adjustments to the camera controls making the ship builder more enjoyable and more responsive to use faster and further zoom options faster panning faster rotating smaller snapping distance for more precise placement which pairs nicely with the ship builder tolerance tweaks i just suggested links to all four of these mods will be down in the description below you could go find them on the nexus mods there very easy to install and i also wanted to mention that if you enjoy today's concept i have a starfield stream vod of me building a battle cruiser from starcraft without any mods links will be in the description for that stream vod and also i try to stream starfield every saturday sunday right here on this channel so feel free to stop by and say hello on the weekends i will be revisiting my battle cruiser build this time using mods but only upon reaching level 52 as that is when you unlock the 50 light year grav drop which I discovered is required for big fleet ships to jump far enough. I had to put my battle cruiser on pause and make a mid-sized ship to carry me to that end game, and thus I decided to build today's medevac instead. Lastly, if you are curious, this medevac ship cost me 450,000 credits to build, and without any further delays, let's get into the medevac speed build. All right, so what we're going to be doing is a 10 times sped up footage of what was a three and a half hour build. I think this gives us about a 20 minute or so speed build. I tried the 20 times and it was like way too fast. I couldn't keep up to what was happening. And I want you guys to be able to actually see what is happening here. So with the medevac in particular, the best thing to do is start with your, your docking gear, which uh, there's only one that has like the wide entrance which like scoops people up right that's the whole medevac concept and then you want the cockpit directly above that which i found that the cockpit that i'm using there best represents the roundness and the the sleekness of the medevac so i think i ended up going with teo company for the habs and uh i went with like a, a two by one for the top and they actually have like top ones that are a little bit smooth so basically the the stack here that i committed with it's the landing gear which is a one by two in length one wide two long behind that is a one by one companion bay and then above that is a one by two companion bay and then your cockpit so now what i could do is i could take another teo one by two bay and put it on for the wings. So in total, I have three Habs that are all, or I guess four. Three of them are one by twos, and then there's a one by one 
interlinking them um, right behind the docker. So what I'm trying to do here is just, none of these are like snapping to the actual habs because of the mods that I'm using, which allowed me to see what kind of like structural pieces I can use to try to create like a smooth wing. Now, the problem with Starfield is you can't actually arc or curve pieces. So the one disadvantage to my build compared to the original is I can't slope the wings like the original. But what can you what you can do is you could sort of make like a curved staircase. And that's what you see me messing around with there is um, kind of staggering the wings like stairs to sort of make a curvy look. And while that was working, ultimately uh, it, it, it didn't really come together the way I wanted to. So you'll see me fiddling things around. Now, I wanted to add more, like these pieces that I'm adding in here was to create that curved slope look. And um, I ended up wedging them into the cockpit and companion bays, the, hu the hubs. And that was a huge mistake because I didn't realize for whatever reason I thought the ship was instanced. And then, I, I don't know why I thought that, but if you crash something into a cockpit or bay because mods allow you to do that, when you go inside the ship and explore around, you will see that stuff poking through the walls and being, you will walk through it. Now, it doesn't have any collisions, so you can actually pass through it. So if it doesn't bother you, then you can kind of really force a lot of unique designs, um, which is really quite interesting. But eventually, what you see me doing in the speed build I do a, a quick minor tweak, which ultimately takes me to what you guys saw in the, the opening footage of the video. So you can see me crashing them in. The fix for that is to just not crash them in. I just pulled them out a little bit and it still looks very much like the medevac. So um, it would have been a little bit smoother and a little bit cleaner and a little bit more round having it crashed in, but you don't need it. So those kind of like metallic-y golden pieces that I have on kind of like the mid row, um, I had to just get rid of those and it still looks as you guys saw in the b-roll It still looks like the medevac. It's it's very clean and worked out pretty well um, so I Make a, a small adjustment after the speed build to make sure that when we walk around the interior There's no pieces clipping through the bays and I showed that off in the introduction of this video walking around and uh, it's all nice and clean on the inside. So if you are kind of trying to copy the speed build, what pieces I'm using, just note that uh, whatever I have crashing in here, I just get rid of later. What you saw me just quickly delete there was effectively what I did. And then the other ones that are crashing in, I just pulled them out ever so slightly to uncrash them. So the wings, uh, I basically built out of both the structural pieces as well as eventually I swapped some of those out for um, cargo pieces. I did want to have cargo like originally when I made my battle cruiser, I wanted a, a cargo ship where basically I'm just a traveling hoarder and uh, it had a 37,000 carry weight. The problem was that the grab drives were only 15 light years, so I couldn't really get that far and uh, the ship had terrible maneuverability. And that was when I built the battle cruiser without mods. So I discovered that you do get new grav drives at level 52, and that will help move fleet ships, big, 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 big ships. So I'm like, all right, well, I, I only play Starfield like once or twice a week on stream, and that's like Saturday, Sunday. I have a lot of other content and videos that I make here on this channel, so I'm a little bit behind in comparison to other Starfield streamers and players and stuff like that. So I try to do what I can when I can, and I have a limited amount of time. So I'm only level 25 out of 52, and I have a long ways to go before I can actually save up enough credits and get enough levels to get that new grav drive to build the battle cruiser of my dreams. Therefore, I needed a mid-sized ship to get me the rest of the way there. And I love StarCraft. I'm an avid StarCraft player. I actually hit Master uh, Master League in uh, 
one one or two seasons. Generally, usually play it like a a, a platinum or um. What's the rank above platinum? I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> In between platinum and masters, diamond. I usually play at a diamond rank. Um, it's been a long time though. I haven't played StarCraft in probably like three years, but I used to love the crap out of StarCraft, played it for very many years. So I'm kind of obsessed with the game. And uh, therefore I'm probably gonna try to make all of the ships. So if you guys like seeing these speed builds, um, I'm probably gonna do them on stream. I might do the Viking next. We'll see. Uh, there's a lot of really cool s designs. I kind of want to do the Wrath as well. But uh, Battlecruiser is definitely going to be my, my main fleet ship that I eventually get to. But this one is going to get me the rest of the way. So what you've been seeing here, what I've been doing here, is trying to get the wings symmetrical. And figure out how I'm going to like use structural pieces and, uh, and, and uh, carry weight. So the cargo on this, I ended up getting the cargo up to 4,000 with the perk that gives you 50% more capacity. That brings that up to 6,000. Now, my old Frontier only had like 2,000 pounds or something, so it's still triple what I'm used to, but not the 37,000 I was hoping for with the Battlecruiser. But that thing was slow and it couldn't move. I did get the Lightyear um, jump range to 20, which is more than enough to get you through the mid to late game. Um, and then if I get the perk, that'll bump it up to 26. I think in this game, the furthest place you can travel is 28 light years. So if you can manage to make a ship that has 28 light years, either using the, the 50 light your grav drive that you get at level 52 or by getting the perk um all you'll ever need is 28 so while i am under that once i get the perk uh it'll bring me back up and then eventually when i need to go 28 i will be doing that with the battle cruiser nice thing about this mod it allows you to stack some of the engines you can have multiple reactors so you can really get a lot of power to all of your different weapons and engines and you can also build extra engines so one of the core designs of a medevac is it has like little engines above the wings kind of like half engines clipping through the wings and kind of to the sides of the of the bays then it has like a big elongated tail and then um some big thrusters on the sides sticking outward so i'm just basically going through all the hab pieces or the structural pieces trying to figure out like how can i make these shapes how do i get a thruster from the front because most of the the engines point backwards in this game but there are a few as you can see here that have like little holes on the front and those are pretty much the only two and i figured out you know which ones they were and um try to symmetrically place them in in, in their spots now these big engines, the ones that the medevac, the primary engines on the medevac, in StarCraft they actually rotate. So when they go, like when the ship is landing, they'll turn downward and the thrust will be a vertical thrust to land it. Now there are landing gear that do that, but they're too small. And I thought that would have been like really cool. And I'm fiddling around with them here. Some of them actually rotate outwards. And I thought that might be kind of cool because when it actually takes up, the thrusters will turn back just like the real medevac but i have it was too small i wasn't able to get it to work now these little pieces here from the deimos ship set they were perfect because you can make these like really long narrow stretches these long kind of strips and those are perfect for the tail and i was like okay i could construct the tail out of these now i'm trying to figure out i was fiddling with this for a while it was driving me nuts because there are no pieces for a tail that like are vertical there's like no vertical pieces in this game at all. And there's also no like slanted pieces. So you've really got to like Lego this thing together with like uh, just vertical and horizontal pieces. And it's very frustrating. Um, the engines also, the two main engines on the left and right, they also have armor on them. So I was trying to uh, clip things in. And that's the nice thing about this mod is you can kind of like wedge pieces in and then you can um, recolor them later to create those like armor plates. The uh, dwarf engines here, they curve. Those are like the only tall and slanted pieces. I could see them being very, very useful and they could have worked here, but they're a little bit too big. And traditionally, the medevac doesn't actually have thrusters or engines on the tails. They're literally just like uh, spoilers, I guess. Yeah, they're just little wings on the back. So I thought they were looking too chunky and I didn't like the way that they looked. 
And now I'm actually like wiggling everything into place here because I was like, okay, I'm pretty happy with this design. So let's just like make sure that it's perfectly symmetrical and aligned. And I thickened it up with more Deimos pieces down below and then put the little like fin or spoiler on the back. And then I'm just trying to figure out like, what is it that I'm gonna build these wings out of? Eventually that thruster that you see there, the white one on the bottom, I did end up putting that there because it was the only like long vertical piece that I could get to make that fin at the back. And um, that's ultimately what I decided to go with. So yeah, it's uh, a bit of a pain in the ass. It has thrusters on the wing now, which the traditional medevac doesn't, but it is the only way I could do it and get the silhouette right. And for me, that was the most important part was capturing the medevac silhouette and likeliness. And then it still looks cool from the perspective. At the end of the day, this is not Starcraft, this is Starfield. So if my ship is, you know, not exactly lore friendly it doesn't matter because this isn't the lore of starcraft <laughs> so the medevacs in starfield have thrusters on the tail so that's as you can see there i'm trying to come up with something like a little bit of a star shape um might not be like the angled shape that the original medevac has but it's close enough and uh i i came up with something that i'm pretty happy with there but the the, the important part is that i got the the, the tail right in the medevac of the starcraft ship has two separate tails or like beams that take you to the fin and um having those two deimos strips there was perfect and it allowed me to get the the fin just right eventually i did notice that it was a little bit too long in comparison to the medevac and i shortened things up and condensed things a little bit I'm playing with the fuel engines here, trying to figure out what kind of armor plates I want to get on the sides of the, 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 the engines, on the main engines on the side. Ultimately, the fuel tank was the best option, especially once I color it, when you see me get to the coloring section of this game, um, or of this ship build, uh, the colors just really hit it home. And you can see those little orange bits on the wings, and what I'm putting on them now are these plates. My idea with those orange bits was technically it's supposed to be a red cross or a red. Uh, it's a cross with a red outline. And I know I can't do that in Starfield. So my idea was to put the, the orange pad down. We'll color that orange pad red later. And then we can cover it up with a vent cover, which would be white. So we'll have a, a white square with a red border, which is the closest resemblance of a symbol that I could put on the wings to make it resemble that of a medevac. So that was actually quite a nice touch, and I'm really happy that the way that that turned out, and you'll see that all come together when we get to the painting process of um, this mod. So everything's looking pretty good though. Like so far, we've kind of nailed the shape, and uh, I, these little fins at the back there, I was happy with them, but they were floating a little bit. And I was like, well, that's gonna bother me. I eventually found a solution for it, was like to clip the engine in, and that's what I ended up going with. But yeah, sometimes because you um, you can only go up a level and down a level, so far there's no mod that allow you to go up a half level. And when eventually we get like a mod that and, and the creation tool engines come out, I'm sure the mod modding in this game is gonna get ridiculous. Not only that, people will add custom parts, custom pieces, in between pieces, halfway point pieces. And uh, if that ever happens, I'll be coming back to revisit the medevac and see if I can build it better. Um, there's a lot of ships in StarCraft in particular that I want to build that'll be currently kind of impossible to do with the tools that Starfield has because we need these curvy pieces, but the medevac is pretty flat. It's got a wide front and then a wide back with a tail. All of those things are achievable in Starcraft or uh, Starfield. Um, and we can kind of simulate curviness by doing like the staircase effect. So those are the armor pieces that I added on that I was talking about. They kind of armor, they cover the thrusters. And um, as you can see here, we're pretty much there. It's actually quite a simple build. It's 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 three of those Teo uh, hubs or yeah, hab pieces with the, the, the docker, the cockpit. And from there, you're just adding structural pieces to the sides of it to elongate the wings. And then you're taking the Deimos ship 
uh, structure pieces to create a tail, and then you're adding thrusters all over it. Thrusters on the side, thrusters on the back, thrusters everywhere to create the thrusters of the medevac. Now, a lot of these are kind of floating in theory. And um, so I'm, I'm, I'm saving my ship just so I don't lose it here. So I can kind of, this is me feeling like I have the silhouette. I have what I, what I want it to look like. From here, it's just like polish. So uh, obviously I didn't want the game to crash or anything or, you know, lose my work or accidentally fat finger the escape key. So just hit a save, save point there. And I want to figure out all those little details. So the Metafact has these like little prongs. Uh, I think they're like scanners or sensors or something, but there's two uh, underneath the cockpit and two on the little wings, on the edges of the wings. I figured I could use the weapons for that. Uh, I realized I didn't upgrade my uh, last perk. I needed to build something for my ship um, to unlock that perk, which we achieved by doing this. So those little prongs, the weapons that will work perfectly for those on the design of the medevac have the weapons sticking off. Now, traditionally, a medevac doesn't have any firing capabilities, but again, we're, we're not in StarCraft here, we're in Starfield. So whatever those sensor prongs are on the original medevac, we're turning them into guns. So silhouette wise, they work. And um, now they feature or double as weapons for our ship. Uh, I am placing stuff on top of the cockpit, which I ended up deleting later, but um, which you guys would have saw in the, the front of the video. So I'm just experimenting, trying to trying to create a little bit more noise on the ship and a little bit more doodads and seeing what kind of works and what doesn't work. But ultimately, um, we added like a few weapons on it. Oh, those shield plates on the back are very important for recoloring because the actual um, the, the actual strips there that lead to the the tail, the fin, I guess, um, they have like little color strips on them. Originally, I was going to make the blue medevac because blue is kind of my color. It's like my um, logo and stuff, my brand. But a true medevac should be red, in my opinion. It, it kind of like represents the colors of a, a hospital and, 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 and Medicare and all that. So we, I fiddled around with blue, didn't like it, and eventually went with red. Now, what you can see me here, I was getting super frustrated with this. Uh, normally, if you're building the ship without mods, you could just double click it and it'll select all. If you didn't know that, there's a little tip for you. But yeah, you just double click it and it'll select all. Because everything's disjointed and not connected together, double clicking it didn't actually do anything. Um, it will select some pieces. So you have to like hold control and click the pieces you want. But a ship like this, uh, you shouldn't really recolor it all at the same time. I just wanted to do that so I could get the base gray, the gray color, the metal across everything. And then from there, I can just color what I need. <coughs> so. I have to manually color every piece individually, which actually worked out better because I have a little bit more control and I'm just going through the pairs. Select one, control select the other, and then you can kind of mirror the colors together. And anytime you're doing a group of pieces or a section of pieces, you do it symmetrically, color both sides symmetrically, and it, you'll, you know, it'll make things a lot easier. So I here it's pause because I was Googling more medevacs to see if I could find like a red one. And again, like the, the pieces on the wings and near the base where the, the, the cockpit is and the habs, they're not one-to-one -one true in the speed build to what I ended up with. Uh, I made a couple minor tweaks. It only took me like a minute to do it. I just deleted a few pieces and pulled some pieces out and then snapped the wings a, a little out a little bit more. Um, that way nothing crashed through my habs. And it was that that's about it. So everything you saw in this speed build is pretty much one to one with the with the way the the final result is, but uh, with a, a few little tiny clicks of adjustments to make sure that nothing crashes through the Habs. Um, but yeah, normally it looks kind of white, the medevac where it should be white, but the actual true color is a metal. But I kind of like the little bits of white added in. So we have the white uh, the little bits on the front where the white crosses should be. They're white squares with red outlines instead. 
and then we have a little bit of white on the wings a little bit of white on the the engines and i just wanted to incorporate little bits of white here and there for the white and red kind of medical look and then pretty much that's it like it's got a few pops of color on the thrusters pops of color on the wings a couple on the tail there and that's all that the medevac has in starcraft and the landing gear and the door also has a red light on it which is also kind of cool uh just as a bonus it, that it by default is colored red and um that's pretty much it that's the whole build there start to finish that's the process that i went through to get it the pieces that i used hopefully it wasn't too fast but here's another look at the ship here some b-roll and uh, you can see how it finally turned out and that's pretty much going to conclude it for this video if you guys enjoyed please do give it a like and a share on social media and uh, come join me on my starfield streams on uh, saturday sundays eventually we're going to be building the battle cruiser so if you want to see that subscribe and i'm hopefully going to build all of the starcraft ships over time but i don't use cheats in this game i use mods but i don't use cheats and um, I'm going to be farming up the credits manually and building the ships with the money that I earn myself playing the actual game. So it's going to be a long process. I only play Starfield a couple times a week, but I've been really enjoying the game. And, um, you know, if, if that's something you guys enjoy, check out the channel, chump, check out the streams. And let me know what you guys thought of my medevac down in the comments below. And that is going to do it for this video for Starfield. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.